Hello and welcome to the Imperial Wealth YouTube channel. My name's Nat and in this video we're going to be having a look at the four phases of the cryptocurrency market cycle. I've got five helpful articles which I'm going to basically summarize for you. I'm going to give you the nice succinct version of what the four phases of a crypto market cycle are. And at the end of this video, we're going to give you a little bit of insight into where we might be in the current market cycle, which will help you make smarter decisions with your cryptocurrency journey. If you want to find out all about that, stick around and we'll show you right now. So I've got five fantastic articles on the topic of cryptocurrency market cycles, and I'll leave them in the description if you want to do your own research. One of them's from ledger.com, the others are from seekingalpha.com, chainbrief.com, crypto.com, and ibkrcampus.com. But basically, one of the first things you need to know is that the idea of a market cycle did not come from cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is quite a new phenomenon, Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, was only released in 2009, so we only really have about a 14-year history to go on. But the cycles within cryptocurrency really act like a compressed version of other market cycles. So we've got real-world uh, analogs such as the real estate market cycle in the United States, or in Australia, we've got the market cycle of the stock market. And some of those cycles can be between 20 to 40 years in length, uh, the real estate cycles. But the cryptocurrency cycles from the information that we have for the last 14 years act very much like a compressed version of these bigger market cycles. And they're about four years in length. We can see on this nice infographic here, we've got a discovery phase for the first two years. And then we've got a fairly succinct, uh, you know, bull run with a bear run. And then the next market cycle for four years, a bull run and a bear run. And then we are currently in this market cycle. So we can use this information to ascertain where we are in a market cycle. So while each of these market cycles can be split into a bull run and a bear run, so bull run meaning that the prices are generally trending upwards and bear run meaning the exact opposite, we can actually split these into four different phases and that will help understand a little bit more about how these market cycles work. The first phase is known as accumulation. During this phase, prices are relatively stable and there is little public interest in cryptocurrencies. I have a slight inkling that that's where we are at the moment, but let's keep looking. Smart investors use this time to accumulate assets at lower prices before the market enters the next phase. This is when the market is considered to be undervalued and investors who can identify this phase and buy in early have the potential to make significant profits in the next phase. The second phase is called the markup phase. During this phase, prices start to increase rapidly. The public interest in cryptocurrencies grows and the sentiment becomes generally positive. This is the phase where most people start hearing about cryptocurrencies and start investing. During this phase, prices can rise exponentially and many investors make significant profits, especially those that were buying during the accumulation phase. The third phase is known as distribution. During this phase, prices start to reach a peak and the market is considered to be overvalued. Smart investors start selling their assets to take profits and the market starts to become quite unstable. It's at this time when inexperienced investors start entering the market and often buy the top. The fourth and final phase is the markdown phase. This has also been known as the rundown phase or the decline phase. This phase is marked by a rapid decline in prices and negative market sentiment. During this phase, many investors begin to panic and sell their cryptocurrencies, causing prices to fall even further. It is important to note that the markdowns are a natural part of a market cycle and that they provide opportunities for savvy investors to accumulate more assets at lower prices before the market enters the accumulation phase once again. So how do you identify these market cycles at their different phases? First of all, it's essential to understand the broader economic and geopolitical factors that can influence the cryptocurrency market. For example, regulatory changes, 
technological advancements and global economic events that can all impact the direction of all markets. Let's look at the history of Bitcoin to see how the market cycles have played out in the past. In 2013, Bitcoin entered its first markup phase, where prices increased rapidly, followed by a distribution phase where prices peaked and many investors took profits. The markdown phase that followed lasted until 2015, when the market entered a new accumulation phase. Bitcoin entered a new markup phase in 2016, where prices again increased rapidly, followed by another distribution phase and a markdown phase that lasted until 2019. Let's jump over and have a look at the live Bitcoin chart on CoinGecko to see if we can get a hint of where we might currently be in the market cycle. So we can see that that chart we were just looking at was a little bit old because what happened in 2020 and 2021 was after this massive markup phase, we had a, a very strange distribution phase and that was due to various world events. But you can see that the market peaked around November of 2021 and for basically the entire 2022, we were in a markdown phase. Now it looks as though we entered a new accumulation phase here towards the start of this year in 2023. And this could still be accumulating for some time or this could be the signs of a new markup phase. So a really good investing strategy is to dollar cost average into cryptocurrencies that you would like to accumulate during the accumulation phase and in the early stages of the markup. Now we don't have a crystal ball. We don't exactly know where we are. We'll only really know in retrospect uh, once the cycle has played out over the next few years. Dollar cost averaging is simply buying an amount every week or every month during these times. So you get the average across the prices. So in conclusion, understanding the four phases of a cryptocurrency market cycle is critical for anyone looking to invest in the cryptocurrency market. By recognizing the different phases and identifying the trends, you can make more informed decisions that will help you maximize your returns and minimize your risks. Always do your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. We hope you found this content valuable. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe for all of our future content. We have plenty of weekly content designed to help you with your cryptocurrency journey. And we also have a series of courses if you want to get more serious about trading or decentralized finance. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.